here today in the new 2019 Ford Explorer, courtesy of Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, PA. Reviewed it last year, wanted to check it out this year again because this is the Platinum, never been in this one. So I am excited to get started. So as always, let's start with pricing. It said there will be several different trim levels available for the 2019 Explorer. First one being the base, that is gonna start at $32,365. Then you have the XLT for $34,400. Limited is gonna start at $42,765. Sport is going to start at $46,625. And lastly, the Platinum, which we are again in today, that one is going to start at $54,165. And to go along with those choices of trim levels, you will have three different engine setups available as well, mostly specific to the trim level though. For instance, that base and XLT trim level is going to give you a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, putting out 290 horsepower, 255 pound-feet of torque. Power is going to be sent to the front wheels, which will come standard however there is an intelligent four-wheel drive system available and mpg numbers on that one are going to come in at 17 in the city 24 on the highway but then next engine setup is going to be for the limited it's going to be optional on the base and xlt trim level that engine setup is going to be a 2.3 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine that one puts out 280 horsepower 310 pound feet of torque again front wheel drive standard intelligent four-wheel drive optional mpg numbers increased on that one because it is turbo charged coming in at 19 in the city 27 on the highway but then last engine setup is going to be exclusive to the sport and platinum trim levels this is the one we have today and this one is a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged six cylinder engine putting out 365 horsepower 350 pound feet of torque power is only going to be sent to all wheels through ford's intelligent four wheel drive system giving you mpg numbers at 16 in the city 22 on the highway and a zero to 60 time of approximately 5.8 seconds but it gets better because we have paddle shifters as well so to put it in that paddle shift mode what I'm simply gonna do is put the shifter all the way to the back there and that is gonna allow me full control over the shifting here so let's test out the paddle shifters and see how quickly they react for us so slight delay definitely not too bad though the acceleration is definitely on point especially for a three-row suv very nice but i guess i'm not surprised it does have a twin turbo v6 so this engine setup at least is definitely one you do not have to worry about merging onto the highway with but to go along with that acceleration braking is equally important so let's hit the brakes comes to a very quick stop. I cannot say that for all three row SUVs that I've tested, so that's definitely nice. And when it comes to handling and ride quality, it does come with an independent front and rear suspension along with hill start assist so you don't drift backwards on steep hills. Also electronic power assist steering. And by the way, when it comes to the steering feel, it does feel quite nice, not as loose as some of the other three row SUVs that I've driven, so definitely appreciate that. And probably one of the first things I noticed, especially on these PA back roads here, ride quality is very much so on point. It is definitely a very smooth ride in the Ford Explorer. I can attest to that as well. And so then to go along with that smooth ride, there's actually a little dial right behind the shifter there. You might be wondering what that's for. That is the terrain management system. That's gonna come standard on the Sport and Platinum trim levels. It's gonna be optional on the other trims, but that is actually gonna give you several different terrain management modes, so to speak, including a normal mode, which is only gonna send torque to the rear wheels when necessary. There's also a mud and rut mode, which limits upshifting and allows the wheels to spin when needed. There's a sand mode, which delivers maximum torque to the wheels and keeps the transmission in the lower gears. And there is also a grass, gravel, and snow mode, which provides faster upshifts and adjusts the engine torque slightly to improve traction on surfaces with loose materials such as gravel or snow. And yet another thing I wanted to mention, the cabin inside the Explorer, it is quite quiet. The only thing I can really hear are the air vents that I have on right now in the rear, but that is about it. There is not a whole lot of road noise making in its way into the cabin on this one. And when it comes to visibility, I have seen three row SUVs worse than this. So in my opinion, it really isn't all that bad. I would say the only thing you really have to look out for when it comes to rear visibility is if you have that third row up, those third row headrests may hinder visibility slightly. But other than that, for a three row SUV, the Explorer definitely really isn't all that bad. But enough with the driving dynamics you guys let's check out the exterior of this new 2019 ford explorer and so then starting up front there are led headlights with the automatic feature that will actually come standard on every single trim level of the 2019 explorer 
If you wanted to go with a limited trim and up, you will also get LED fog lights just below with the LED signature lighting within the front headlights as well. Looking in the center there, I did want to mention that grille design and the front bumper application will differ among the trim levels. For instance, with the sport trim level, you're going to get several more black accents throughout the exterior. And with the platinum trim level, you're going to get some more chrome accents, for example. Then make your way to the side. The base trim will give you black door handles and black side mirrors. XLT will make those body color door handles. Sport trim level is going to bounce you back to black door handles and black side mirrors, but with the side mirrors, they will come heated with integrated turn signals though. Limited and platinum trim are going to give you chrome door handles and the platinum is also going to give you chrome side mirrors as well. But then for all trim levels, all trims will give you rear privacy glass, also roof rails for every single trim level. When it comes to the wheel setup, you will get 18 inch aluminum alloys for the base and XLT. 20 inch premium aluminum wheels for the limited you will get 20 inch machined aluminum wheels for the sport and a 20 inch unique design for the premium trim level that you're looking at right now but then making your way to the back there is a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light for every single trim level just below that rear window wiper and once again for every single trim level you will get led tail lights as well so love that ford is doing the leds all the way around for all trim levels that's definitely nice and then just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips for the base XLT and Limited, and I put it that way because if you go with the Sport or Platinum trim levels, you will get quad tips, but dual exhaust either way. So you guys know what I gotta do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now, since we are around back, the way to open that rear trunk, if you go with the limited trim level and up, it is a hands-free lift gate. So it is a power lift gate. And if your hands were full of groceries or a golf bag or whatever, simply kick your foot underneath that rear bumper and it is gonna automatically open up for you again for the limited trim level and up. But once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 21 cubic feet behind that third row. But of course you can fold that third row down, bumping the cubic feetness up to 43.9 good bit of space there and with all rows folded that is going to come in 81.7 cubic feet but so then let's test out the rear leg room now this is always a fun part for me being six feet tall third row leg room is going to come in at 33.3 inches so for reference this is how much space i have back there when it comes to the second row leg room that is going to come in at 39.5 inches so again this is how much space i have back there also for the second row passengers you will find a center armrest with cup holders and that second row actually is also going to be heated if you go with the limited trim level and up but now make your way to the front seats you will find a cloth finish on the base and xlt leather finishes are going to come with the limited trim level and up also with the limited and up they will come heated and ventilated and one of the coolest parts about the front seats at least in my opinion is if you go with the platinum trim level you will get unique design elements as you guys can see the quilted leather on the sides of the seats there are also the platinum designation towards the top of them definitely a very nice looking seat i gotta say and they of course are also very comfortable in my short little driving stint that i've done today but perhaps the best part about the seats you guys is with the platinum trim level they are multi-contour front seats which means they have the massage function so both driver and passenger can not only get a back massage but a bum massage as well. So that feature typically found our Mercedes Benz is where I remember it from, but now is on the Ford Explorer. That is definitely pretty sweet. But so anyways, let's take a look up front here. There is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel that will come standard. It is gonna come leather wrapped if you go with the XLT trim level and up, and will come heated if you go with the limited trim level and up, and I am loving the wood grain accents that I have on the platinum trim level that we got here today. But I digress, let's take a look at the key here. On the one side, you have your Ford logo, and when you flip it over, lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch, and that remote start button as well. And by the way, that is gonna be XLT trim level and up, and once again, XLT trim level and up is gonna give you remote access with a push button start. So what I am simply gonna do is just put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so, but then once started up, tachometer is gonna be on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display as well, front and center. And by the way, two 
control what is on that digital display there are actually steering wheel mounted controls on both the left and the right side because there are kind of two separate digital displays within those gauges there so a ton of information you can scroll through if you like within that but make your way to overall interior quality all trim levels are going to give you an overhead sunglass holder limited trim level and up is going to give you ambient lighting and a universal garage door opener as well that's pretty nice twin panel moonroof is going to come standard on the platinum trim level that's what you're looking at right now and by the way if you still wanted that moonroof on the other trim levels it is available for you in case you were curious but with this being the platinum trim level i have absolutely no issues with interior quality there are soft touch materials everywhere aluminum and wood grain accents that tie the doors into the front dash here also that quilted leather you found on the seats continue on to the doors as well and i also like that the speaker design kind of ties its way into the dash a little bit as well so i'll get more into the speakers in a second but definitely a very nice finish to the 2019 explorer but now let's take a look at the tech display front and center here i do want to mention if you go with the base explorer or the xlt you will get the standard sync system which is still going to give you bluetooth and audio streaming and a six speaker sound system but if you go with the limited trim level and up you will get the sync 3 system which is optional on the xlt by the way but that one is going to give you android auto and apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone you have free navigation through your smartphone that will be displayed up on that screen by the way it's an eight inch color touchscreen display so it is fairly large there also you have the ability to control your climate control settings up there a factory navigation system will come standard for the limited trim level and up and when it comes to the sound system the limited and sport trim levels are going to give you a sony 12 speaker sound system System. And if you go with the Platinum, you will get a premium Sony surround sound system. So that's what we got going on today. So let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Serious amount of bass on this thing. That was ridiculous. Absolutely very crystal clear and loud. So really for a three-row SUV, that sound system is definitely where it's at. And so, but then the last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put the 2019 Explorer in reverse for every single trim level, you will get a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so let me start on the safety side with front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags and inflatable rear safety safety belt. Don't see that one too often, so that's pretty cool as well. Also in the back though, latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also back there, rear child door locks. You will get an auto dimming rear view mirror with a limited trim level and up. And now the more fun stuff, blind spot information system with rear cross traffic alert for the limited trim level and up forward sensing system same deal there xlt trim level and up is going to give you that rear sensing system so therefore the explorer is going to beep at you a little bit if you get too close to an object so you know not to run into that object and since we are so lucky today the platinum trim level that you are currently looking at will also give you lane departure warning with lane keep assist active park assist and an adaptive cruise control system with collision warning and brake support and so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like like the video and subscribe.